Take him out by any means necessary, including deadly force. I told him, I said, take him out. I heard. Uh, Damn, I don't give a shit. He wasn't long after that. I heard. Shots fired. Shots fired. I said, we'll ram him. I said, don't, don't ram him. Shoot him. That's shit. He'll turn my cars up. They don't think I'll give a damn water to kill that mother oh, They push. Take him out. I, I, I'm trolling the damn end wrong in the damn county. I love this shit, God. I, I tell you what, I thrive on it. Welcome back to Legal Descent, where we evaluate your constitutional rights before they're taken away. Odie Shoup was the sheriff of White County, Tennessee, until he decided to not run for re-election in 2018. A large part of this was due to the amount of lawsuits that his department was facing, alleging excessive force, illegal searches, and other even more devious claims. On April 13th, 2017, Michael Dial was on his way home from visiting a flea market in DeKalb County. Local law enforcement discovered that he was driving with a suspended license and attempted to pull him over. Dial refused to stop and continued driving on the highway at speeds of 50 miles per hour or less. As he approached the county border, DeKalb County law enforcement stopped pursuing so that White County Sheriff deputies and other local law enforcement could continue the chase. Um, I'm going to be uh, initiating pursuit this time. Uh, I believe this uh, trailer has lost the wheel. Has lost the wheel. 10 yep, on the highway yet? He's fixing to ram the city officer here. We've got him boxed in. Can we hear us with the direction you headed? He's hitting 111, guys. He's hit. He's got the city officer here on the side. It's not in the patrol car up here. He's hit the side. He's in the median. In the median. I'll check on him. Are y'all still in the I'm gonna get back down here, break your stalls, get the trips out there for you. Yeah, he's fixing to lose his trailer, watch out. Central one officer got hit. I'm gonna go check on them. Yeah, keep the radio free. Central will be advised. Land his cars down. He just hit him here on the side. 73 is out of service. 17 away. Central, he's hit him again. Ten four, get a hold of 59 Central. See if we can do something to get this maniac off of here. This area is moving in any force. Ten nine. Code 59, use any force if necessary. Take this subject out by any means necessary. Ten four, Central be advised. I'm fixing that ram in here. 10-7. Central, we've done random and we got shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. 17 10. Let me see your hands! He's dead! 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 He's
Ed. Central get any mass test. Subject has sustained gunshots. One of the deputies in pursuit was Reserve Deputy Adam West, who was pursuing in his personal pickup truck and pulled his gun out as soon as the sheriff gave the order to use deadly force. Take him out by any means necessary, including deadly force. Hey, Take him out. Take him out. Coming up on Burgess Falls. We're losing debris. Michael Dial was dead. He was unarmed, and the original crime was driving with a suspended license. He absolutely should not have been driving, and he should have pulled over when the officers activated their lights. There is no excusing those terrible decisions that he made that put other people at risk and ultimately cost him his life. That being said, there were some concerning actions and decisions made by law enforcement as well. Sheriff Shoup arrived on scene after the shooting and began consoling Deputy West, who fired the fatal bullet. Hey, Adam, you're, you're good. You call your wife, tell them you're all right. You don't have to worry about this. I made the decision. You don't have to worry about it. I took that away from y'all. You don't have to worry about nothing. Everything's cool. You done just exactly right. Hey. Hey, hey, Carl. You done the right hey, I thing. It. I told you that. I love it. I told you, you done the right thing. I tell you. I'm glad, hey, you done the right thing. You kept somebody from getting killed. This fool was crazy. Call your wife her. Everything good. I've, I made that decision. You don't have to worry about nothing. You got your phone with you? Are you? You don't have to be scared, brother. I know it's natural, but you don't have to be. Natural. Hang in there. You tough? I know you didn't want to do it. Hey, that's all right. Hey. We're good. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of that. And, uh, I ain't worried about this at all. You just hang in there and call your wife, okay? Yeah. Can I get my phone? Yeah. After this conversation, the sheriff gets into a car with another deputy who accidentally left his body cam running in the back seat of the car. I told him, I said, take him out. I heard. I said, Damn, I don't give a shit. It wasn't long after that. I heard shots fired, shots fired. They said, we'll ram him. I said, don't, don't ram him, shoot him. Fuck that shit. I ain't going to turn my cars up, but I got two cars tore up again. I know. Yeah, the old boy lives there in that trailer. That old boy right there lives right across the road, you know, uh, that I whooped. And, and me and John and them had that trouble with the jail. That's him. Boy, he's tore our cars all to hell. He tried to kill him. I'm telling you, you are see the city car. He's right up on the back window with, uh, with that truck. Yep. Yeah, well, right now, uh, we don't know if Charlie shot him or if Adam, but it looks like Adam shot him. But Adam took it hard. I, I, hey, I, he talks that big shit. Now he's in the big league. You know, 
don't think he can take it. He needs to get out. But anyway, we'll be right there in just a few minutes. You can just have it for me, okay? Love you. Bye. Let me tell you something, God. If they don't think I'll give the damn water to kill that motherfucker, they full of shit. Take him out. I'm, I'm, I'm here on the damn end, wrong end of the damn county out here. Use deadly force. Shit. I heard. Uh, like I say, I was fixing my on my radio. I had turned it off. And I heard, got to listen to it. And I thought, well, there was a car across the highway there. But what I mean, I'm going to have spike strips. And they went back in all the brain. I hurt my hand getting out of the car. Yeah, I was using Stale's car and well, we go through the meters at about 90. Oh, so Stale dropped me off? Yeah, well, I, I got out and let her go on home. That's why I got to get my car. I love this shit. God, I, I tell you what, I thrive on it. Sheriff Shoop thrives on giving the order to kill someone. He laughs about the death of a person. Even though he thinks he knows who his deputy just killed, he's wrong. The White County Sheriff's Department had no idea who they were chasing or why. Subject has sustained gunshots. They discovered the driver had been shot, then immediately questioned who he was. Who is this? Anybody know who he is? No. All right, let's get him out here. Jason Kirby. Okay. They quickly identify him as Jason Kirby. Kirby's mom, Pat Randolph, soon learned on social media that her son was dead. It was terrible. It was a nightmare, you know. Who, my son was dead, you know. I just couldn't handle it. Randolph yeah, immediately terrible. left for the hospital, but drove up on the shooting scene. That's where White County Sheriff Odie Shoup told her in person that her son was dead. He just said it like, you know, well, your son's dead. That's just, that's it. You know, he, he shot at us and we had to take him out. No concern, no, you know, nothing. But an investigation would later reveal the driver did not shoot at officers and, in fact, didn't even have a gun. Sheriff Shoup told Randolph to go on to the hospital, where even there, she says they confirmed it was her son who was killed. Yeah, it makes me mad. Makes me really mad. But incredibly, it turns out Jason Kirby was not dead. He was alive and working, away from his phone. He did not realize his entire family thought he'd been killed. He finally saw his mom that evening. I went in and hugged her, you know, and told her, you know, I'm all right, I love you. And uh, she just cried for like, I don't know, hours. The incompetence of this department is mind-boggling. But wait, there's more. The reserve deputy, Adam West, who shot and killed Michael Dial, had a troubled past even before joining law enforcement. Sheriff, we've been trying to reach you with some important questions. White County Sheriff Odie Shoup did not want to talk. He referred us to his lawyer when we came to question him about his promotion of Reserve Deputy Adam West. West was involved in the deadly chase of Michael Dial last April. Do you do background checks on the deputies that you hire? The sheriff never required West to fill out a standard job application, one that asked about his criminal history, including past arrests. Go ahead and get the tape. Despite that, West was promoted to full-time deputy in January. Why did you send Adam West to the Law Enforcement Academy when he hadn't filled out a job application? Almost three weeks after we began asking for a copy of his application, West finally filled one out. But the application seems to raise more questions than it answers, including why West failed to disclose his previous arrests. Page 10 asks applicants to list all instances in which you were arrested, charged, or received a notice to appear for any criminal violation. West left that section blank. But we found in 2006, Metro Police arrested West for assault after he punched someone in the mouth, knocking out two teeth. West was booked, but the charges were later dropped. And in 1995, West was arrested after being indicted for the burglary and theft of a Cookville gas station where he once worked. But charges were later dropped after he gave the money back. His co-defendant was convicted of a felony. Not long after that, West had to serve two days in jail after being cited twice for reckless driving. One was related to drag racing. And in 1997, he was arrested by a Putnam County deputy after failing to appear in traffic court. He was given a 10-day suspended sentence. But when asked if he'd ever been fingerprinted by law enforcement for any reason, he again failed to list his past arrests, including his 2006 arrest for assault where he was clearly fingerprinted when he was booked. And when asked if his license had ever been suspended, 
West answered no, even though we found his license was suspended in 1996 for a careless driving citation in Pigeon Forge. We also found he lied on his application to the Law Enforcement Academy at Walters State. He was asked directly if he'd ever been convicted, charged, or arrested. West again simply checked no. The mother of Jason Kirby sued the sheriff and the county for intentional infliction of emotional distress for telling her that her son was the one killed by law enforcement and not Michael Dial. The trial court threw out the case holding that Sheriff Shoup was covered under qualified immunity. She appealed this ruling and the appellate court affirmed that judgment. The wife of Michael Dial also sued the sheriff and the county for excessive force used in the death of her husband. The appellate court held that Deputy West and Sheriff Shoup were also covered under the doctrine of qualified immunity and dismissed the suits against them as individuals. However, the case against the sheriff's department and the county continued on until it was settled out of court for an undisclosed amount of money. This is just one story of Sheriff Odie Shoup and the corruption that he oversaw within his department. Next week, I'll show you yet another example of how this public servant worked with a judge to haunt the lives of inmates in the county jail forever. What do you think? Did the sheriff behave appropriately and competently? Was a car chase maxing out at 50 miles per hour worth shooting at an unarmed man? Let us know in the comments below. And remember that no matter who you are, you have value and you have rights. Do not be afraid to use them and we'll see you next time right here on Legal Descent.